here we go, guys. Me and Ernie headed to Alaska right now. More chaos and more division. And what are we doing? We're staying at home because of a virus that I'm sorry, these things have happened since man was on the earth. Schedule flight time a little longer today, five hours, 30 minutes in route. Captain may provide us with other flight information shortly after takeoff before our departure flight makes certain that you can find safety features. Captain Delta, we'd like to welcome you to Anchorage for your safety now. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. And all of your carry-on baggage stowed will be coming to complete our final stop at the gate. The captain turns off the fast and seatbelt sign. This will be your indication that it's safe to get up. Yeah, I put, I put in a tent <laughs> outside of Coldfoot. <laughs> so you have to, have to go through a uh, COVID-19 thing when you get into Anchorage. And we pretty much told them we were going to be in the middle of nowhere in a tent. So they believed us. Hey man, I'm just glad we made it. That uh, five hour flight went pretty quick. We're here, our ride's gonna be here any minute. We got through all the COVID nonsense at the airport, filled out our paperwork, and uh, it'll, it'll be interesting. They wanted to know our quarantine location, so we put a tent on the side of the road, uh, on the hall road. I don't know if they'll come and check up on us or not. So uh, well, yeah, we'll see how this goes. We got our ride coming. Um, we'll stay here tonight and then take off tomorrow morning. What's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. All right, let's load this. Dude, we've got so much room. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we just have to stack it up with bodies. That's right. There's the carcasses. <laughs> so, Which I'm fine with that. How was you guys' flight, all right? Easy. Okay. Yeah. After making it to Anchorage, we met up with Phil and Aaron, checked our bows at the range, and prepared gear for the long trek north. We're on our way. We'll, uh, 12 hours of driving ahead of us today. Try and get north of Fairbanks and get into our area, and we'll uh, see if we can't get on a couple of black bears tonight. So, uh, yeah, we had really good accommodations last night. Slept at a buddy's house here in Alaska, and. Uh, yeah, we're on the road, so the adventure starts now. Well, it's about 2.30, we're just about, roll, about ready to roll into Fairbanks. We've been driving since uh, about 7 or so this morning. Um, we're going to get a bite to eat, and then keep heading north. So they said that we should be into where we're gonna camp about 10 o'clock tonight, which it'll still be good daylight at that time. But uh, neither me or Ernie slept very well last night, so we're both pretty tired. But um, after we eat lunch, I'm gonna take the wheel and drive for a bit. And uh, yeah, just keep going, get into camp, and then uh, we'll be hunting bears. So I'm just gonna keep, keep driving north. Well guys, we've been uh, driving for 13 hours today and have finally made it to Coldfoot, which I thought was a town, but it looks like it may just be a bar. Um, but we pulled into here. Uh, I'm not sure what the plan is yet. I think right around here is where we're gonna camp tonight and then try and get on to some bears in the morning. Um, yeah, we've been on the road since eight this morning. It is now 8.45 at night. Uh, yeah, it's a long, long haul. Big country. Everything up here is big, man. I, I've, I've never seen big like this before. So, yeah. Hopefully things go well. I think uh, it's time for a bathroom break, and uh, then we'll see what happens after that. Hey, can you t take that down and put it back up so I can film it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be doing that again here shortly. So. <laughs> uh, the guy turned the one
guys, so we pulled in here and uh, I thought we were just stopping so we could take some pictures of this back here. We're actually camping right here. Too cool, too cool. Wow. Wish you could see it in person because it's amazing. After setting up camp, we did some glassing for black bear, but didn't have any luck. Last night was a bust. We uh, did a bunch of hiking, didn't see any any real sign, some moose sign and some wolf sign, but nothing for bears. Uh, a couple of the guys that we're going to be meeting up with later, though, killed three caribou yesterday. So uh, they kind of put us on some good intel of where to look. And, we're packing up camp, you know, if you if you don't see sign where you're at, don't stay, so we're moving. Uh, we're going to go about 50 to 70 miles further up north and uh, set up camp. I don't know what day it is right now, but uh, season opens in another day or two for the caribou. Yeah, two days for the caribou and we'll uh, be ready. We're actually going to try something even more different. We're going to be out in the field at 11.59 for season opener at midnight and uh, see if we can't kill the first caribou uh, out of the season right at midnight so yeah we'll see as we drove north out of the brooks range it didn't take long to find what we had come for giant herds of caribou oh there's some Herdy giant thing <laughs> There's some giants in there. Talk about getting right in the action. There's some giants in there too. Yeah, there is. They're right there to the right, to the right, right over the hill. Aaron, Aaron. Shoot that, run ahead right to him. He's just waiting, he's just sitting still. He's gotta be what, 40 from Aaron? He's just, yeah. God damn it, Aaron's in a bad spot. I'm gonna shoot over him right now. That's all right, could you shoot now? He's, he's blocked by all those other ones. There you go. Coming right at us. How far? 40. Welcome to the hall room. <laughs> Dude, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> Dude, that was freaking awesome. That's ridiculous. 42 yards. I thought you were going to shoot that one. How far was he from you? 33. Why didn't you shoot at him? <laughs> I, dude, they, I mean, I don't know. I'm looking at a thousand caribou right now, and uh, <laughs> we're one one hundred second into it. And, yeah, we uh, literally come up over the hill. It was like, oh my god. Yeah, that there was two little bulls in there. They were young. I was going to smoke that one. I was... I thought the one was something you'd shoot, for sure. Too small. I, I mean, I want to, but I want to... Did you see the bulls that were in there? Yeah. There's, there's, there's four or there. five smashers. Yeah. I can see the tops on one right now on the horizon. <laughs> Come over the hill, and Phil was saying we were in the truck. Phil's like, 
Yeah, just right over here, we usually see him from, I'm like, there? <laughs> like, there's, stop. All right, so we come up over this little hill. We have not seen an animal the whole trip. And there's, we come up over this hill and there was a thousand caribou right here. So we literally jumped out of the truck. Aaron and Phil grabbed their bows. They're, they're residents, so they can shoot anything right now. But uh, we, we ran over this little knoll and they all come right to us like 35 yards and we just never had a clean shot at the, the big one that was in the group. But there's a big herd of caribou over here and there is some monster bulls over there. So this is awesome. <laughs> and there's another guy down here. It looks like he's chasing them too. But uh, yeah, this is gonna get wild here, I think, pretty quick. <laughs> 